upon the love, people of Australia. This is your friend James in Olympia, Washington State, United States of America. Good day, mates. I think that's the way you do it. <laughs> ah, forgive me if it's not. I just want to encourage you. Is the month of May has is has begun, and I want to encourage you with four quick things. One, do not be afraid. Uh, fear stops, fear constricts, fear stops people from being nice people, fear stops people from involved, getting in relationships that God's leading in them into, fear stops people from applying from job for jobs, fear constricts the muscles, constricts giving, it constricts the heart, men's hearts failing them for fear, you know, don't be afraid of the coronavirus, it's time to stop walking in fear. Um, you need to not walk in fear because people who walk in fear, actually fear when they, when fear clouds some, fear clouds judgment. Fear makes people act weird. So you need to get out of fear. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Walk, get in peace. And then you can make a clear, proper decision. Because fear will stop you from being nice to people. Fear will make folks get, you know, not care. I'm looking at, let's, let's, I'm thinking about something that I'm not going to tell you. Because I was thinking about someone carrying on. They were in fear and they didn't care about the other person at all. Financially, socially, they didn't care about the person because they were in fear. But fear stops people from doing lots of stuff, applying, going to schools, pursuing their dreams. And if Satan can keep you in fear and people can keep you in fear, even parents have put people in fear. They've actually, you know, indirectly, um, they're afraid their child won't make the proper money as a school teacher or as a musician. So what they do is they superimpose that fear and force that child to be a doctor or a lawyer. Because they're afraid it won't work. See, fear stops. It constricts. Australians, don't be in fear. Go on forward. Secondly, uh, evaluate the past. Yes, look at what happened in 2020. Look at what's been happening in your life in the past. Relationships. What's, how's the relationship been going in the past? How's the job been going in the past? It, I mean, so many times people don't look at people's track records or see what's going on. They don't evaluate what happened in the past. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Then he beats on her. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Then she, then, then she beats on him. Oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. No, you need to evaluate the past. Look at, is, did it work? Is stuff that's happened in the past, is it working? Is what you're doing in life working? Are you happy? Are you where you want to be, wanted to be today, this time last year when you were planning it? So you must evaluate the past. Many times people do not, do not evaluate what's been going on in the past. They keep doing what they've been doing, but they don't realize they've been doing the same thing that they've been doing in the past, and they're still miserable. Three, consider the present. Many times people live in the past and live in the future. You have to do all this, guys, and, you know, they're not focusing on the... Right now, what needs to be done now? What relationships do you need to be working on now? You have what friends do you have right now? I'm not talking about the superficial. We're just gonna be friends, and then you know when when we break up, you know I'll just be happy because you know I put it all in there. I'm not talking about that nonsense. I'm talking about living your life right now, fully doing what needs to be done now. Don't go back. And, many people are on the treadmill of school and work. And they're not fixing something. If you need to fix your computer, get a new computer. If you need to focus on something now, get it done now. Many people are like, oh, they're. Uh, uh, their car, they, they want to, I want to say something, let's see, they need to change a light bulb, but they keep not doing it, not doing it, not doing it, not doing it, we'll keep, but you need to change the light bulb. Consider the present. What's going on now? Are you happy in the job? Are you happy in your family? Are you happy in relationships? Consider what's going on in your country now. Are you happy with wicked people? In leadership, are you happy with people doing in with good people in leadership? You need to consider what's actually going on. Not what you think, not what you want, not what you're happy with your political party. You have to actually, is it actually working? Look, but consider what's going on right now. Many people need to focus on. Focus on what you need to do. If you're if you're in school, kids, focus on school. If your kids are in your house, parents, you need to focus on your kids. Because when they leave that house, don't be talking about empty nest syndrome that Many people have because they didn't take care of their kids and they weren't prepared for their children to grow up. They just, you know, treat the kids like dirt or whatever. They just, oh, how, you know, whatever. Nonsense. If you have the children with you, focus on what's going on now. If you're in a department now, focus on that department. Many people get jobs and they're just thinking about the CEO position, but they're not helping the people right now who won't be in that department because they'll go leave. They're not concerned about who they're working with right now. The school kids they're teaching right now, the people in their group right now, the people who are at their church right now. Cons uh, and four, press on to the future. Don't be weary and well doing. As the Bible says, you'll reap if you faint not. If you quit before the end of a marathon, you don't get the completing, you don't get the finisher's you know, ribbon. You don't get the t-shirt for finishing. 
Well, no, some some people give you a T-shirt because you paid to do it. Ha! Ah, they're trying to raise money for something. But the as far as getting the finisher's medal, you won't get the finisher's medal. You don't do it. You know, if you don't finish that dream God gave for you, uh, we'll never be able to enjoy those uh, scones or pastries. I don't like coffee, but some people some people will never be able to enjoy your coffee. But if you don't press on to the future, if the past and the you know, in the past and the present's bogging you down and 2020's bogging you down and wicked evil people are bogging you down and bad relationships are bogging you down, you won't be able to press on to the future. But to forget the stuff of the past, go on to the future. You need to keep moving forward. Keep going forward. Don't be afraid, my friends. You must press on to the future. Because if you don't press, because without a focus, without a vision, without a direction, it's just stagnant water. We know stagnant water goes bad. Even the water cycle. You know, that's even mentioned in the Bible, by the way. The water cycle, you know, if it does, if it stops, if you stop, if you, many people have stopped their lives in 2020, it's time to go on and go forward, guys. Really going forward. I love you and remember, Limubi.